Hi guys, and welcome to my home library transformation. This is the before shot. There was just stuff everywhere. My books were all over the place. It needed a revamp, okay? Okay, that is kind of a quick overview of what my shelves look like. They're super duper messy and there's also just stuff everywhere. This is like a birthday gift from my best friend. This is from my boyfriend. And there's just like a bunch of picture frames. Me looking really cool. Me in gymnastics. Me and someone I don't talk to anymore. Also, okay, this is a side note. I used to be a huge Shadowhunters fan. If you ask me to tell you what happens in that book, I cannot tell you. All I know is that Izzy is hot and she was my favorite character. And there, there was some like... That's all I remember. You know why? Because that literally fucking terrified me. Then Shadowhunters came out with a movie and everyone was making edits with the song Clarity. Yeah, it's in my throwback playlist because of Shadowhunters. Anyways, today I went to the bookstore. This is the first bag and a second bag. I also got a Kino card. You have to pay for this membership. It was like 500 baht. But if you live in Thailand, um, I do recommend going to Asia Books over Kino. You don't have to pay for a membership. You can just like tell them your number and like create a membership for free and then you would get all your books for 10% off. Also Asia Books, they had really bad game and then they started implementing more books, new releases, and they started importing their books faster. So honestly, if you have turned away from Asia books, go back and see that they have improved. Okay, let's get into the book haul. First, we have Carnival by Stephanie Garber. I started it once and I didn't like it, but now that I know that we're eventually going to have Jax in the plot again, I think I'm gonna give it another try. Next, we have Legendary. And then I got the last book. I'm so excited that I have all three of them together. I'm just so excited to read this and to like dive into this world once again. I wanna get the explanation on what the fuck a fate is. So I'm hoping that this is gonna give me that satisfaction. So yeah, I got all of these books. They were actually quite cheap with the 10% discount. Let me calculate it out for you in dollars. They were like $37 altogether. And then I got this light fixture that I've been wanting for a really long time. How cute is that? This is my favorite Sanrio character. It's pretty small, but it's supposed to light up and be really cute. Look, she is so cute. Is this giving you flashbacks to my Animal Crossing days? Hmm. I do want to get back into it. I just don't know how anymore because I can't unlock the building thing. And I know that I haven't been playing right. I've been maxing my bells. I've been doing stupid shit. That is not the way the game is supposed to be played. And that is probably the reason why I haven't unlocked terraforming. I think the game is confused. Hi, it's the day after you saw me try to clean this place out. Let me show you what it looks like now. I still have this huge basket of books that I need to clean out. I have some picture frames of myself that I want to put in my room. I found some like stupid shit like this. Let's not talk about it. I don't know why I bought it. Stuff from my boyfriend that I want to keep somewhere nice. Stuff from my friend that I also want to keep somewhere nice. This is like all my yearbooks. My TI fucking 84. Some of my books. This thing that I've wanted to do. More manga books. This is another huge like stack of books. Haunting Adeline. And then the little light that I bought. This is what the shelf looks like right now. I have more books here that I do want to sort out. Obviously, I ruined this book. I think I took it somewhere and it got ruined, but I absolutely love this book and the tabs are ugly. I kind of want to redo that. I have some like more romance books here. Obviously, the whole Twisted series. I found this like little fox that I got and I want to put it next to Once Upon a Broken Heart. Then I got more books here. Down there, I have my like tarot cards and then Avalon. This is another book corner that I have and that one. There are definitely books I want to take from here. Throne of Glass, this iconic cover. I don't like the new covers. Unfortunately, I don't know if I can get the old ones anymore, but hopefully if I buy them soon enough, I could. This one was also a really iconic one from like back in the day. Like I remember this was so fucking famous. I don't know if it's actually good, but I do want to read it. So obviously I have to take this 
This was like one of my favorite books and it got me back into reading. I haven't even unboxed this, okay? I might leave this one here. I don't think I'm gonna read it. Unless you guys tell me it's good, I don't think I'm gonna read it. Every time I read a book and I really like it, I would tell my mom and then she would try and find like a Thai version of it because she's like too lazy to read it in English. Even though she could, she's just like too lazy to do so. So she buys it in Thai and then she would read it, which I think is adorable. This book I gave to my mom to read and she completely ruined my book um but it's okay because she's my mommy if it was someone else i'd be like why the fuck did you ruin my book but because she's my mommy it's okay katie west once again she was my queen back then katie west was the anna huang back then i also have more like poetry books i think i'm gonna take i want like a little poetry corner heartless i've heard good and bad things about it i literally have another one of these <laughs> what the fuck does anyone want an old cover because these are old i really loved assassin's blade this was one of my favorite books i also have queen of shadows still in packaging when i said i was obsessed with shadow hunters i was not kidding done with all my shelves these books i'm gonna be putting in the other room because i actually don't want them in this room let me show you the books i'm gonna be putting in the other room every last word i don't see myself reading it then we have a thai book brought bro what okay i can't speak bro what these had one ten kanan or democracy shaken and stirred i have it translated and i have the thai version this is for my thai class honestly a really good book but it will be going in the other room so Dork Diaries, more Dork Diaries, and a do-it-yourself diary that I never wrote in, but it's really cute and I bought it. I never wrote in it because I don't like writing in books. I don't know why, I just don't like writing in books. It makes me want to cry, so. This one from Lukov, I bought it because everyone said that it was good and I trusted everyone and they failed me. Beautiful Disaster. It was supposed to be like a cliche Wattpad book, but like it took Wattpad a little bit too seriously. I already watched the show. There's no reason to read it too. Heartless, The Fill in Boyfriend by Katie West. I'm gonna put all my Katie West books in the other room in case my mom wants to read it. These are books that I read in middle school. This one I actually remember because this is one of my favorite Katie West books. I think they were like writing letters. Don't take my word for it, but if you are 13 and you were looking for a good romance, that is age appropriate or whatever or whatever i have haunting adeline sitting on my shelf no but this is seriously age appropriate okay like if you're 13 and like you're in middle school and you want to read something like cute and fun and flirty um katie west books are really good well i'm gonna give you a shelf tour of you know my books and yeah let me show you obviously we have to start with the first section of the shelf or the top shelves i guess i have this little bell thingy if you're a miraculous fan you should know what this is i thought i was marinette didn't we all? <laughs> Just agree with me, please. These are nostalgia books, okay? Why is Dork Diaries not on here? Because I don't have space for my whole Dork Diaries collection. First, we have the Girl Online collection by Zoe Zug. This was the book back then. It was like she went to a concert and then she got noticed and then she got swept off her feet by a band member. I mean, it was it, you know? It was one of the first romance books I've ever read. So I have a lot of love for the series. Moving on, I have It Only Happens in the Movies, the Jenny Han collection. The Summer I Turned Pretty to All the Boys I've Loved Before. Have I read a single one of these books? No, I haven't because I actually don't like the books. I bought them because I like the movie. At least one time each year, I watch To All the Boys I've Loved Before. I love that. It gives me like a sentimental value, even though I don't like the books. Then we have the One of Us is Lying collection. Um, I've actually only read One of Us is Lying and I haven't read these three. I thought they would be as good as One of Us is Lying, but 
it wasn't. Now we are moving on to the more fun stuff. Basically, we have all of the... What do you call these? Those like TikTok Wattpad books. I have the Mile High collection. Then we have Tempting Little Thief. I thought it was a really good book. I love the characters. I have felt like they had insane chemistry and I couldn't put the book down. You know why it's on a five star? It's because the ending is so Wattpad. Like I would honestly be happy with the book ending in the middle and not having the outrageous ending that I absolutely hated. I hated the ending. I don't know why it was written like that, but the first 80% of the book was amazing. I was in heaven. I do recommend it. I want to hear your thoughts down below. Then we have the whole after series. I would call this my awakening. I finished this whole chunk of this book in one day. That should tell you something. I have moved past the after phase, okay? I'm not in it anymore. Goodbye, Harden Scott. The fact that his name is Harden is absolutely insane to me just like imagine for a second imagine you were a smart author would you really name your main guy lead harden because i wouldn't i personally would not but anyways then we have the addicted series i was kind of in a book slump when i started it so i didn't really like it but i will try and start it again to see what the hype is about um then i have if he had been with me the shadow hunter series i was a shadow hunters kid i loved this series with my heart and soul which is why i have so many books i actually have so many of the same books which actually kills me inside because why the fuck did i spend my money on the same books but i left them in the other room so i will not feel guilty looking at it but first we have the moral instrument series which is the main shadow hunter series i have a a bunch of these which are like the extra books like the bane chronicles the shadow hunters codex oh there are drawings in here illustrations of the shadow hunters which i actually really love this book i think it's beautiful and i love it i love the art this is the clockwork angel series which i actually really liked i think i was very confused when i was a kid because look at how much there is i was so confused i was like what the fuck is what like which is which in the series and i bought like 10 of the same books. Then we have Tales from the Shadow Hunters Academy, Lady of Midnight, and Lord of Shadows, which I never fucking read. Because look at how intimidating this is. Me as a 13 year old could not deal with that, and me now cannot deal with that. This is my whole Harry Potter section. Then I have these two, which are actually the same book. I personally bought this book, and then this book was at my school fair, and it was really cheap, and it looked really cool. Dare I say that this is the best shelf ever. We have the Carnival series. You can actually watch me reading the whole series, and I absolutely love the series. It was one of my favorite series I've ever read, and if you know, you know. My Anna Huang, plus a little bit of Lauren Asher. First, we have the whole Twisted series. I know some people don't like Rise. Reese rise but i don't understand why people are hating on the main guy character when you could be hating on on alex because i hate on alex all the time these are all five stars for me and this one was a two and we have the kings of sin series king of pride is my favorite then we have the fine print which i absolutely hated and then we have love redesign which i've heard so many good things about it and i will be reading it do not be fooled by my lack of dark romance because everything else is on my kindle so obviously we have a touch of darkness which i actually thought it was gonna be more dark it was kind of like a normal romance in my opinion once you've read haunting adeline if you read A Touch of Darkness, it doesn't feel like a dark romance anymore. And then obviously, Punk 57. I feel like I'm losing my voice and I'm so hungry and so tired and I really want an disciple. Welcome to my romance section. I actually haven't read a lot of these, but the covers look like they go together. I'm not going to tell you what is what. I'm just going to give you one recommendation and it is Forget Me Dot. It was an amazing read. I absolutely loved it. This is her debut novel. It is so good and it is very emotionally good. I really liked it. This is my Sarah J Mass collection. I absolutely loved the Throne of Glass series when I read it. I was recommending it to everyone, but it wasn't famous yet, so nobody believed me. I've only read up to like a little bit of Air of Fire. I was still like between the Prince and the Guard kind of thing, like there were no other characters. But I was team guard, so. Moving on, we have the fantasy. I will recommend one book like I did the romance. It is Powerless by Lauren Roberts. It is such a good book. This is her debut novel and I absolutely loved it. Down here I have all my school yearbooks and then I have my tarot cards and some like stones. Then I have my mystery books slash the pressing books. And then I have all my Taylor Jenkins read books. Over here we have like self-help books or like books I'm not sure where to put. Cheers, we finished. This is a really weird angle, but bear with me. I know I wanted to complete my Throne of Glass series. I know I'm gonna read it. I also know that I hate the new covers. I was calling up every single bookstore. I was looking on eBay. I was looking like everywhere, but even on eBay, like some of the books were really wretched. Obviously they're used books, so they were not in good condition and they were like double the price of a book. So I called up more bookstores and Asia Books got my books. These are the two that I got from Asia Books and I'm missing one, but they're sending it from like another store to the one that is closer to my house. I got Tower of Dawn, which is actually Kale's 
POV, which I'm very excited to read because Kale was one of my favorite characters. I was always Team Kale. I also got Kingdom of Ash. I forgot to end this video, but there are still some parts of this reading corner that I would like to add, so it's not completely finished. But at least right now it's like organized and it looks nice. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.